What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, today's video is going to be about six things that I think you should consider before applying for any credit card. All right, so let's get right into this video. I'm excited about this video. I want you guys to give me a lot of feedback. Um, there are so many different things I can think of. There's so many different things that you guys should think of. So again, let me hear your perspectives. Give me your comments. Tell me what you know you think for before you apply for a credit card. Any questions you got, I'd be happy to answer it. Let's get right into the video. Now, before we get started, a couple of announcements. Um, so I'm really excited to you know, announce um, two things. Number one, um, I'm gonna be doing some collaborations in the very near future with uh, some other known uh, YouTubers that do a really great job with uh, educating people and helping people with credit cards and credit maintaining scores. So look out for that very, very soon. I'm talking about within the next month. Look out for that very soon. So by the end of February, look out for that. Okay, and number two, I'm going to do, be doing a giveaway. Once I reach 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away uh, four $25 Amazon gift cards, all right? I wanted to try to get something that made sense for everybody, not like get like a basketball or like a football or something like that. Um, so $25 Amazon gift card, four of them, all right? All you have to do is subscribe, um, comment that you subscribed and just tell me you know did you like the video and you just give me your feedback so just f pretty much follow these steps just subscribe to the channel um, tell me that you subscribed obviously comment that and tell me what you liked about the video and uh, you know make sure you're subscribed too that's most important once we get to 2,000 followers the faster we do this the faster uh, four of you lucky ones will get a virtual uh, card I'll send it right to you so that is the two announcements. I hope you guys are really enjoying this channel. Give me a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put those things right there at the CC Maestro. All right, so here are the six things that you should think of when applying for a credit card. These are in no particular order. You can rank them the way you want to. The first thing I wanna think about is my APR, which is going to be my annual percentage rate. So what I'm gonna be charged interest every month if I keep a balance. Now, if you know me, I try to inform everybody and teach everybody, you wanna pay your balances off in full every time. This uh, keeps you out of debt, this keeps money in your pocket, and uh, this keeps money out of the bank's pocket. You know, they charge a lot of interest, um, especially, and I'm not picking on any particular, actually no, I am picking, or I'm picking. Uh, retail cards typically are the higher ones, okay? so. Uh, your favorite retail store that might have a credit card that might try to get you to buy that credit card every time you're at the counter, their interest rate might be in the 30s, 30%, which is pretty high. Um, typically, interest rates vary maybe around right now 14 to maybe 24%. Um, so 30% is kind of high. So you really want to consider your APR, my annual percentage rate. What is that? Okay. So you want to look at what it can be. Obviously, you won't know exactly until you get the card. It might range from 14 to 25 but if you're in that you know, range versus if you're in the 30s, you might wanna stay away from those cards. Typically those cards can be dangerous, but if you can, pay your balances off in full just to avoid that in general. Number two, fees. What fees am I gonna be associated with for having this card? Um, and do I wanna pay those fees? Those fees include annual fees. Those fees include, um, some, card, some cards actually charge you uh, fees uh, on an on a annual basis, um, you may get fees for late payments, you may get fees for paying over the phone with a customer service agent, a lot of different things. So you wanna really think about the fees for you know keeping this card. Is this fee worth keeping this card? Is it not worth it? Do Am I gonna get charged an extra 10 to $15 or five to $10 uh, to make this payment over the phone with a rep? What are you guys charging me? Um, so some companies do actually charge you to call in. They have to pay their employees, um, so they're gonna charge you. Um, so this is something you might want to do online, you know, things like that. Is it really convenient for me? Um, so that is number two, your fees, your annual fees, your service fees. Um, you might get, a, 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 you might even get a fee to have a, a paper sent to you. Some banks do charge that, right? So number three, rewards. Rewards are very big. Um, I mean, how, how good are the rewards? Um, some credit cards, and I know if you're a new uh, if you're new with credit cards, you may not get rewards at all. So this kind of doesn't really matter for you if you're somebody who doesn't really have any history. I wouldn't expect to get any type of rewards. 
um, it's your first or second card typically your first card keep your first card as your learning card my first credit card that is still open because you never want to close your first card doesn't have any rewards and I just have like an automatic Netflix subscription every month on it just to keep it active but it gives me absolutely no rewards but that's where my history started but for everybody else rewards whether that reward is 1.5 unlimited like the chase freedom unlimited 1.5 percent cash back or the chase freedom five percent rotating categories american express platinum five points per dollar on flights directly with the airline or through amextravel.com um, amex gold card four points per dollar restaurants etc um, and do the rewards make sense for you you know so are you looking for that type of reward or are you looking for more travel rewards or more cash back rewards what are you looking for number four and i think this is really important as well and again you guys can rank these how you want to i think you should know your score actually no you should know your score <laughs> you should know your score before you apply um, if you're in a type of situation right now let's say you're in let's say you've already applied for two cards you know know your score can your score really take on another inquiry um, and do you really want to lower your score because every time you check your credit score when you apply for a card it has a slight ding um, and the more you apply the more dings it will take so know your score um, and that also kind of go hand in hand with well will I get approved no disrespect but if you're at like a you know 400 500 and you're trying to apply for the Chase Sapphire Reserve it's gonna probably be highly unlikely that you get approved um, so don't waste your energy or your time and put even more ding on your score if you already know the chances of you being approved you won't get approved I mean the chances of you being approved are very unlikely that's easy to find out there are a lot of uh, you know blogs out here and websites that tell you like a range of what these companies look for and you can also with these companies like Chase and Amex you put in your social you can actually see what you're pre-qualified for again a pre-qualify is not um, a guarantee that you'll be approved but it it's a, it's a good chance okay so know your score know where you stand with that bank and if you can have a soft inquiry by going on to Chase's website or American Express's website to see the pre-qualified chances, that'd be helpful. Number five, why are you applying for this credit card? Um, are you applying for the hype, which I never recommend? Don't apply for the hype. Don't believe the hype, like they used to say in our rap song. Um, don't believe the hype. Um, you know, does it make sense for you? Um, does it, is it really going to benefit you? So let's say you're about to go on a big trip. Um, and you want to have a, a nice travel card that makes sense okay you want to have this travel card that makes sense for you but if you're not going on a trip until the next five years and you got this travel card right here you should maybe apply for that card a little bit farther down the road let's say you want to do some home improvement okay and that you know again you know you're gonna have to keep a balance on your credit card you don't want to get a charge card like American Express gold card or a platinum card because you may have to pay that in full or you're gonna pay a really high interest rate if you don't. You might wanna look for a card like the Discover It card where it gives you 14%, I'm sorry, not 14%, how 14 months free of interest on balance transfers and purchases. Or the City Diamond Preferred that gives you 21 months of no interest on balance transfers and purchases. So it has to make sense. Why you're applying for the card and doesn't make sense. And this is um, very important to me too. And again, you can really put this how you want in order. Customer service is important. Um, I don't call customer service much. A lot of things I do, it is on my phone. I do it myself. I pay my own bills, um, all that good stuff. I'm kind of really um, self-sufficient. I'm not saying that if you're calling customer service, you aren't. I tend to do things myself. But in the chances and situa in the situation that you got to call, right? In the situation that you have to call, let's say you got a charge you're not sure of, like a fraudulent transaction and things like that. Is the customer service friendly? Um, is the customer service uh, open 24-7? Uh, um, you know, things like that. Does it make sense? You know, are they nice? I mean, when you call in and you're paying and you're giving the company your business, um, does it make sense? Um, are they nice? Are they going to help you? Um, are they open all the time? Are they open conveniently for you? Which most banks are 24 hours, but there are some banks that still aren't 24 hours. And um, I try to stay away from those banks because life happens 24-7 and these banks they may close so um, things like that now those are my six reasons and uh, those are my six things I consider before I apply for a credit card let's just do a recap you got APR which is your annual percentage rate the fees 
the rewards, knowing your score, why you are applying, and how is the customer service. Everybody wants to be treated um, like a value customer. I know that is you know, very hard to find nowadays, um, but there are companies out there that really pride themselves in customer service. Don't let one bad agent be the whole, you know, one bad Apple messes it all up, but you know, on a routine basis, how's the customer service? So those are the six things, guys. Again, let's get to 2,000 subscribers as soon as we can because the sooner we do that, the faster four of you will get Amazon gift cards from me, $25 each, all right, virtual Amazon gift cards, using or whatever you want. Let's get this thing to 2,000 subscribers. Please like, comment, and share this video. Again, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to stay tuned for these collaborations coming up. Hit that notification bell. Let me know how I'm doing. Thanks so much for tuning in.